admit something to O W N. Listen. All right. I'm gonna beat us because there, you can come up with any kind of uh, a uh, situation you can think of. You other uh, uh, radio announcer, uh, DJ, Slee Jays, whatever. You can try to come up and send something to Oprah, but it won't be our show. We have a solid foundation, and uh, I think once we get the package together and let uh, the Winfrey staff see what it is, I'm expecting a call. Right, and uh, not only should we be uh, expecting a call, we will probably get a call because, remember, some of the talent they have on that station right now is Jenny McCarthy and Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, right. I mean, it, you got hours and hours and hours. Uh, how many hours are there in a week? Exactly. And have to fill that time. And I'm guaranteeing you, I'm guaranteeing you, we do a show. We do one show uh, uh, with, with Oprah. Usually she gives you five days. One, you know, once a week. But even if we did a weekend show, one day, I guarantee you they'd be playing it every day, the same show over. You got that right. It's our show. And I know that for a fact. Uh, it's just something in my bones I feel. I, I really do believe we're going to hear something, and it's going to be amazing because we just have too many things that are, uh, I think, pushing in the correct direction to uh, have somebody give us a buzz. But that's enough beating that dead horse. Michael Vick. He's playing tonight. Matt Vick, he may be playing right now. Oh, yeah, what a game. It's just amazing. It is just amazing how these dog lovers are not going to let this guy have peace. They're still messing with him. Exactly. I mean, when does it go away? Does it ever go away? And I heard, you know, not only did he do jail time, but every Thursday he goes to some school in the area, Philadelphia, New Jersey, Delaware uh, area, even probably New York and Virginia. He goes once a week and he talks to school kids about the... Uh, the difficulties he had, and how you're not supposed to be doing dog fighting. I mean, what more can you ask from this guy? Listen to me. I heard something astonishing. Uh, it was on television, and it was that President Obama called his coach and was talking about the Vic situation, and his statement was he could not believe that Vic had done something so uh, heinous, so uh, hideous, and how he was glad that he gave the convict a second chance. Right? Are you kidding me? A convict for dog fighting? Hideous? People are trying to eat dogs. They put them in cages and bop them in the head and boil them. Right. Come on, guys. What's going on? Yeah, I think the president's a big dog lover, too. He's drinking the soup. He's drinking the Kool-Aid. He's believing. He's going by that nonsense. And uh, I, just, I'm, I, I was astonished that this guy was saying he was a criminal for bashing a couple dogs' heads in and letting them fight each other. But you can have cage fighting and go sign autographs so the guy's uh, shirt, who's crushing somebody's skull? I mean, isn't it flip-flop here? Isn't it something that they're taking human life and they're putting it down and taking animal life or dog's life and raising it above all and calling this guy a criminal, a convict? Well, I just want to backtrack a little bit. It's amazing that this has been going on for like three years, yet... And I think he's a fantastic player. Big Ben Roethlisberger, you don't even hear the mention of any rape cases. He's been playing this year, and I've been watching the games, and I have not heard anyone, not one announcer say, Oh, well, yeah, he's really turned things around from the rough time he had with the potential rape cases. Never, not one word, but every time when Michael Vick's, Vick, it's well, dog, let dog, me dog. Tell you something. Let me tell you something. You let that Roethlisberger rape a dog, and he's going to the death chamber. Oh. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> What's wrong with you? 
Right, we got 